Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, or whenever you're watching this video. This is Sea Temptation coming at you again with another commentary of Chicago Talk. I uh, wanted to begin this video by saying namaste, peace be on to you and everybody that's watching this video. Baby, happy Thursday to you. Um, I wanted to make this video today because I wanted to give two updates. Uh, number one, about the presidential race. Um, it was announced, though, that Bernie Sanders has officially dropped out of the race. Um, yeah, he said that he wasn't going to run, so now it all boils down to Joe Biden and that full Trump. In which I still say, me personally, I'm not voting for either one of them. Because my thing right now is this, and this is the main issue I have, you know, uh, from what I gather, like in cities like Chicago and New York, this COVID-19 is really hitting African-American people. And unless they're trying to do something to try to maintain and save the lives of our people, I'm not voting for neither one of them. You know, because, you know, people, and I'm going to put a message out there, especially to the citizens of Chicago, y'all need to listen up to, on this shit here. Now, I done saw situations, people hanging out at the parks, at the lakefront, you know, not taking the proper precaution like the social or I call it physical distancing you know not wearing a mask like I'm doing right now because this is the first time I ever wore a mask on any of my videos ever you know but because of the situation it's like what can you do you know not trying to take the proper safety precautions not washing their hands you know they think that this crisis is some sort of a joke and it really is not though I mean because you know, our, we are in serious trouble and our lives are at stake, you know. And this has to be taken very seriously, seriously, and we need to be held accountable for this. Because, you know, this is not a joke right here. I mean, we are in a major crisis right now. Now to the point right now, excuse me, my mask is trying to slip off. Now it's to the point right now that our lives are at risk right now. And people just taking this shit lightly. God damn it. I'm going to take a stand on this. It's time for people to wake up and take this seriously because this is not a joking matter. You know, this is not anything cute. You know, people's lives are at, at, at stake right now. People had died from this, you know, and found out that uh, I found out on Facebook yesterday, uh, the late and great Aretha Franklin's uh, role manager, he died from that virus. So people, you know, this is serious. This is real. You need to take this, take heed to this and take the proper safety precautions. Do what you have to do. Eat the right foods. Take vitamins. You know what I'm saying? Take vitamins, you know, stock up on the medicines that you need, though, because this is not a joke. But, you know, what? and I'm thinking with this being the month of April and then we're coming up in the summer months, hopefully that this stuff will lie dormant and then, um, you know, and hopefully we won't have to worry. I'm going to take this off, though, because this is getting on my nerves. So, um, hopefully this will lie dormant and by the time when the fall gets here, then that's when we're going to have to worry about the problem again because that's when the virus is going to start arising again. So, people, do the right thing and do what the hell you're supposed to do. Don't quit playing with your life because this is a lot of laughing matter. I mean, this shit is real. I mean, our, you know, people have died from this. People's lives are at stake. You know, take heed to this. Do what you're supposed to do and then stop walking around silly. Especially if you're going to these grocery stores like Walmart. You know, y'all need to mask up, glove up. You know, take you some disinfectant, sanitizer, wipe those shopping carts and what have you. And do what you're supposed to do. Get in and get the hell out. You know, because this is not a laughing matter. I mean, this is no bullshit. And this is a serious message I'm putting out there. You know, but um, ladies and gentlemen, I want to ask you this. Uh, click like, click share. Uh, leave a comment on the bottom. Let me know what you think about this presidential election by Bernie Sanders dropping out of the race. And, yeah, let me know about uh, what you, how you feel about Biden and Trump going to be balloting this out. Because I got a funny feeling this shit is about to get real, real ugly. And uh, share and subscribe, smash that like button, do what you do. So, yeah, I just want to come in, drop in, and say hi to everybody. Um, check out my live stream. Even though a lot of people don't believe that that 5G is not co uh, connected to the coronavirus, but I think it does have an impact on that. And I really believe, though, that they're said that this is all set up, though, to, uh, to reduce the population in the world. I mean, and if you think about it, it makes a lot of sense. So... 
Leave me your input on that. Oh, and another thing I want to leave an update on. I'm sorry about that. I knew I was missing something. Update on R. Kelly. Check this out. Now, it was reported, though, that he went back to court uh, requesting to be bailed out of jail. And guess what? The judge denied him because it was uh, he reported that he was uh, he felt like his uh, life was at risk far as for the coronavirus. But he didn't show enough evidence in terms of, uh, you know, any type of previous uh, health conditions like asthma, you know, and then plus um, at where he's um, where he's uh, in jail at, where he's in prison, at, though, they, you know, there's no type of uh, risk though, of the coronavirus. So, yeah, they, and plus, they consider him as a flight risk. So, yeah, his bail was denied. And uh, right now, as it stands, he's waiting to stand uh, to go to trial on this. So, if they find him guilty for all these federal charges, he is never going to see daylight ever again. Now, a lot of people may feel like, hey, you know, well, those girls, though, they, they, they put them up to all of this. But, yeah, but in the same breath, though, I mean, all he, you know, he, he, he put it out there and he participated in it. And so, if you do the crime, then you got to do the time. It's period, point, and end of story. You know, that's just the bottom line to that. So, yeah, let me know. Leave a comment what you know. Let me know what you think. And um, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. So, I'm going to say that I love you. I bless you. I have faith in you. And I realize the creator in each and every one of you. Um, so, guys, until the next video, I'm going to drop the mic. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday. And please, whatever you do, stay safe. Take care of yourself and take care of each other. And I'll see you on the next go-around.